Hello again, I'm John Terzak, and welcome to another video cooking lesson at The Seasoned Cook. Today, I will answer the question, which is how to make a sweet sabayon sauce, or what's known in Italy to some degree as a zabaglione sauce. This is the French version, sabayon, of the Italian zabaglione sauce, okay? And we're going to start out with four egg yolks in my mixing bowl, and we're going to add a half a cup of powdered sugar. We're going to add three tablespoons of sweet marsala wine. We're going to add a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract, and we're going to add the zest of one lemon, or half of a lemon, excuse me. Get our lemon zest in there. Then we're going to take this mixture over to the stove and we are going to cook it as if we were kind of like making a hollandaise sauce so we're never going to add the butter to it. So this is going to be a light, frothy, warm dessert sauce when we're done. Now make no mistake, there's such a thing as a savory sabayon sauce also. You could not put the sugar in here and have salt and pepper in here and fresh herbs or saffron or any flavor you want to make a light, frothy, uh, heated, whipped, savory sauce for different things, okay? So we're going to take this over to the stove now. Okay, the trick here is to don't scramble your eggs. This is a little bit like hollandaise sauce without adding butter. So what I've done is i got a little bit of marsala down here and a little bit of cold water for backup if I need to thin this out. Now it's on a full boil right now and I'm going to start the cooking process with it on a full boil but I'm going to turn it down a little bit right now. So what we're looking to do here is not put your arm into this. This is one of those deals where it really is all in the wrist. Now the faster you beat it the longer it's going to take to cook and the fluffier it will be. Now you'll notice it's starting to cook, but I'm beating it in such a way as I don't want it to cook too fast. I don't want to run the risk of having any scrambled egg in this, because this is not a sauce that you would necessarily strain, because you don't want to, you'd be straining some of the air out. Now you can always lift it up if you think it's cooking too fast, but it needs to be stiff, like cooked egg, hollandaise-ish sort of stiff. Minus the butter. Okay, I'm going to crank it back up just a touch more. Now you can put this on super low and stand here for 20 minutes if you want. But you see, I got that water is boiling in there. But I'm also quick with the whisk, which is something that you probably would be after making this just one time. Now we're getting close to the texture here, you see? Not quite here, there yet. Now if I slow it down, it'll start cooking faster. Now it's a little thicker. I'm going to use this as a dipping sauce today with fried strawberries and bananas. Now it's starting to get thick. Now I'll lift it up a little bit to cool it off. I'm going in for the final. I'm going to slow this cooking down a little bit. Get that egg cooked. But not scrambled. See how nice and smooth that is? There you go. That's cooked enough for me. I think. Not quite, but close. See, it's gotten thicker and thicker now. See, even I thought it was done, and it wasn't. 
now it's it's done. All right, we'll go back over to the uh, to the table now. All right, that what didn't take too much effort. Let's get some of it on a plate so you can look at the texture of it. Look at the texture of that, how fluffy that is. Now, what would you serve this with? And why did I use Marsala wine? Marsala wine is a traditional Italian wine that's used in Zavaglione sauce. And this is the French version, but I use uh, the uh, Marsala wine anyway. But I could have put a little rum in there if I wanted to instead of the Marsala and, and serve this with warm apple pie or serve this with hot souffle or even a cold souffle with a slightly warm, light, fluffy sauce. So there you have it. I hope I answered the question for you of how to make French-style sabayon sauce. And again, I'll remind you, it doesn't have to be sweet. You can make many savory versions of this. Enjoy. Oh, one more thing I forgot to tell you, and that is that, let's say you make this and it's sitting around your kitchen for a while while you're waiting to serve it with whatever it is you're serving it with. You can put it back over the boiling water and warm it up again quickly, easily too. Okay, now... Enjoy it if you get a chance.